Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric and Crash Bandicoot is back. Yes, we got the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy now available on the PS4. Now, now what exactly do you get in the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy? Well, you get all three of the original PS1 games in a fresh coat of paint. Yes, all the original gameplay and level design of the Naughty Dog critically acclaimed hit from back in the late 90s, early 2000s is here in its true to original form. Is it a good thing? Yeah, I mean, it's solid. It plays just like it. Matter of fact, Vicarious Visions pretty much has the original code and everything to it. Just like I mentioned, beautiful graphics, beautiful additions. There's a lot of detail that will have you enjoying what you see in this game. In addition to that, there's new elements such as being able to play as Coco, who was a background character in the original trilogy. Now you can play as her in a limited capacity. There's some parts where you're not able to, but for the most part, it's a nice addition. She plays just like Crash, which in regards to how the gameplay controls, I personally feel it has aged a little bit, not terribly, but Things such as how the camera angles affect certain things such as jumping over pitfalls. The enemy AI is pretty bare bones. They kind of just run aimlessly down pits or just circle around. It hasn't aged well other than basically the fresh coat of paint. There's a lot of old platform elements that I feel do not benefit this game and hold it down just a little bit. But with that said, Crash Bandicoot was always one of my favorite games of all time. In addition to the new paint, there is a little bit of changes in the sound department. All of the sounds and soundtrack of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy are awesome. Now, these games, of course, are kind of short. If you're really adept and a master of Crash Bandicoot, you can breeze through most of these games within a few hours each, which is why I wish there was a lot of stuff added into them. It would have been nice to see concept art, behind the scenes videos, stuff from the original developers, basically paying homage to the original trilogy since this is coming out several years later. There's also a brand new ability to save. The original had a password system, now have an autosave or save files and being able to save at any time actually makes the game quite a bit forgiving. So this is perfect for beginners, even though back then we had to get good playing this. Just saying. It's available for about 40 bucks, which for its price, you're gonna get three full Crash Bandicoot games that are solid, lots of platform elements, there's a new trophy system added onto everything, not to mention all the gem challenges from the original. There's a lot of content in here. I, I think the, the trophies are awesome because each game has its own set of trophies. So there's three Platinums that you can get from this. Overall, Crash Bandicoot is a nice blast from the past. If you haven't played Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, or 3 for some reason, the Insane Trilogy is the perfect place to get started. With that said, this being a sizable collection that pays tribute to the original, I give Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy an 8 out of 10. It's definitely worth a look. And well guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.